we need to do is log into our SiteGround hosting account. To do that, we'll go to SiteGround.com and click on Login. Sign in. Go to My Accounts. Click on cPanel. Now in the cPanel, you will see your account information. And you'll see your name servers. Now we're going to be using the name servers to point the Google domain to the SiteGround hosting account. So what we'll want to do is then go to Google domains where you purchased your domain. You want to log into your account and click on domains to bring you to the list of your active domains. Once you are there, you can click on manage and look for the tab that says use custom name servers for your domain and click on that. Now here you will see the option to either use the Google domains uh, name servers, which is the default setting, or you can click on use custom name servers. So we will click on use custom name servers since we will be using the SiteGround name servers. And you'll see this box. So we will be putting our SiteGround name servers in this box here. So we can go back to our cPanel on SiteGround and we want to copy our first name server. See it, it says NS1 SiteGround and your specific number. Back in Google Domains we will paste that name server we will come over to the right side and click the plus symbol <clears throat> to give us an additional box to add the second name server. So now we'll go back to the SiteGround hosting cPanel and copy the second name server. <clears throat> now you may notice that the only difference between these two is NS1 and NS2. So you could also just um, paste this one in this box as well, and then just change the two. Either way will work. So now that we have both NS1 and NS2 in our custom name servers box, we can go ahead and click save. All right, now with our uh, new name servers saved in our Google domains account, we can go back to our SiteGround cPanel. And in the cPanel, we can go to add on domains. This is where we will set up our new domain in the SiteGround hosting account. So you can go ahead and type your new domain into the new domain field. and create a password. And then once we have the new domain and password set up, we can add the domain. And that will now be created in your account. All right, so now that we have added the domain, you should be able to scroll down in your add-on domains and see your um, new domain in your list. Now at this point, you will be able to set up WordPress or use it in any other way that, that you had planned. But keep in mind that it may take a little while for Google domains to complete the transfer over to SiteGround. 
So if you try to access your domain right away, you may get a error message, but within a couple of hours that should be resolved. And that's all it takes to point your Google domain name to your SiteGround hosting account. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos on web hosting. As always, thank you for watching.